Oh, that feels better. <sighs> nice shire of Frodo stickers. I love those guys. Yeah, they're all right. The first ten albums were pretty good. You're Kevin Murphy, right? I'm Alice Goldman. I was in P.E. class with you in seventh grade. Oh, yeah. Mr. Frisaki was so weird. Remember when he sat on his nutsack and we got the rest of the marking period off? <laughs> yeah. So, you're a Frodo fan? Yes, they're so smart and literary with their references to Tolkien and C.S. Lewis. I just finished Fellowship of the Ring. Frodo's in a book? You've never read it? Oh, I don't read much. All that Brainiac stuff isn't for me. I take the dumb classes with the kids that look like they're 25. You don't seem dumb to me. Where do you get to know me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, a great sense of humor is a sign of intelligence. <laughs> you sound like my mom. Is she paying you to say this? No! <laughs> I'm just giving you a compliment. God. Oh, huh. Feels weird. I, I, I mean, thanks. Well, I'll see you around, Kevin. Tell me how you like the book. Hey, Alice, thanks a lot. That was a great book. My favorite part was that they didn't wear shoes. <laughs> wow, you read it all in a week? Did I do it wrong? No, I'm really impressed. That's a hard book. I knew you were just being humble when you said you were dumb. Yeah, I, sh I should stop bragging about that. <laughs> well, have a great day. Hey, stay on your path. Your ring awaits you. And, and I hope you kill a bunch of orcs. I am sitting in a tree. Mr. Happy Guy. That's such a great song. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Uh, Vic, he's my neighbor. He's really cool. He's going to put us on his radio station, and he has fish in his couch. Anyway, he says I wrote it about you. Well, did you? Well, I wrote it about how good I feel when I'm around you, so... Yeah. Well, since I'm your muse, I get 10% of the profits. 10%? That's like half. <laughs> I'm joking. Girls can make jokes too, you know. Uh, doy. I understand jokes and girls. <laughs> You're such a dork. You're such a dork. Would you mind if I told everyone about this? Sailing on my catamaran Won't you call me Mr. Catamaran? What do you think? It's good, but isn't that the song you wrote about me? Yeah, but I'm trying to get it on the radio and more people know about catamarans than know who you are, so I had to change the lyrics. It's a logistics thing. Okay. Uh, Kevin, I like the old song better. It sounded more like you. You don't care about boats. Okay, fine, I don't. But my manager Vic told me it's really hip to sing about stuff like that. And I live under my parents' house, so I wrote some shit about some dildo on a catamaran so I can have a hit, move out of the basement, and live in a place that has a fucking window so I can tell what fucking time it is! Why are you yelling at me? Because you're yelling at me! I'm not yelling at you. Well, it sounded like you were. I don't know why I just flipped out like that. Oh, man. I'm acting just like my dad. I'm sorry, Alice. It's okay. I, I accept and believe your apology. You do? Whoa. In my house, after we yell at each other, people don't speak again until the next major sporting event. Well, good news. We're not related. <laughs> That'd be really messed up. It would mean I touched my sister's tits last night. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew, I know. Alice! Over here! It's me, Kevin! I almost didn't recognize you. You look like you're in a rum commercial. Oh, thanks! Yeah. Vic said this is the hot look the industry wants, so... <laughs> Oh, sorry I wasn't in school yesterday. Vic's been rehearsing us since Tuesday. I haven't eaten anything except iguana chow the last few days, but I feel great. <laughs> Kevin, I don't know about this Vic guy. He's changing everything about you. Are you really okay with all this? Why are you coming down on me? I'm not. Yes, you are. 
You're like being all negative about my dreams. You're just like my dad, except you smell great. It's because I care about you. Well, Vic hasn't changed me one bit. And mark my words, Kevin Murphy's gonna be famous. But my name isn't Maui Mike. Oh, yeah, uh, Vic told me my new stage name is Maui Mike. Well, Mike, if you see Kevin, tell him I miss him. And his music. Stage is Good Vibe Harbor. Every artist has a choice to make, whether to follow their heart or listen to that desperate voice that says, sacrifice your integrity by playing songs that mean nothing to you. Well, to that voice, I say, you can do it, Kevin. Oh, oh man. I'm Maui Mike, and we are Good Vibe Harbor. I'm Mr. Chilled Out Guy, easy breezy sailing guy, catamarans go cruising by, that's why they... What the hell? People only shove bad things into locker vents. You're breaking up with me? No, I had some time to think, and I get why you let that Vic guy change your song and all that other stuff. You do? It touches me that you cared about an old man instead of your own happiness. Well, Vic just seemed so vulnerable when he held that guitar jack to my throat and called me a cunt. And I think that was a beautiful thing you did. But what else would you expect from a beautiful person? Uh, listen, uh... You're, like, really special, and I I think we might be ready for, you know. Yeah, but I want our first time to be magical. I got rid of the wasp nest in my basement. Okay. It's not the most romantic basement in the world, but I, I can set the mood with some birthday candles. It won't matter. Once I take my glasses off, I can't see anything. You're so foxy. Kevin! Hey! Mom! Am I an uncle yet? Not yet. Is your dad here? No. Your mother's gonna miss another one. I don't know what to do. I flunked home ec. I couldn't figure out how to put on the apron. You'll be fine. Just, just help her relax. I don't know how to do that. No. But I bet Maui Mike does. I'm Mr. Chilled Out Guy. Oh, ah! Dad! I want to see your face when I have a boner! If I have a grandkid that's nine months younger than my next kid, I guarantee you, I will kill you. Nice to see you again, Alice. 